Chapter 48, 24D Programming Statements. During the break, read the 24D Programming Statements below. Set aside seven consecutive nights to read them and read them for seven straight nights without missing a night. One, I am black. Two, the original gods are black men and women. Three, I am a descendant of the original gods. Four, my ancestors are the creators of the universe. They created the earth, the moon, and the stars. Five, they made the non-black races out of their recessive germ. Six, they gave the non-black races power to rule the earth for 6,000 years. Seven, the non-black races forced my people into slavery to build their evil and immoral civilization. Eight, their time to rule the earth is now over. Their civilization will fall in my own lifetime. Nine, my ancestors built magnificent cities. They built great pyramids and large temples that stood for thousands of years with granite walls and marble floors decorated with silver and gold and precious gemstones. I, their descendant, will build more majestic cities for my people. 10, I am one of the 144,000 black people who will be the new rulers of the earth. 11, we'll make the non-black races our servants. We'll instruct them on how to clean their physical and mental pollution and restore the earth's natural balance. 12, we'll start a new civilization based on good morality. We will rule the earth with a clear mind and a good heart according to the natural laws of the original gods. 13, black people are casual beings. Non-blacks are symptomatic beings. Black people can see the true causes of things, whereas non-blacks see only the symptoms. 14, black people cure illnesses and problems by preventing the cause. Non-blacks alleviate illness and problems by treating the symptoms. 15, the God of the non-black races is greed. If they're not stopped, they will go to any extreme to satisfy this God, even to the extreme of destroying the earth and all life on it. 16, because they worship greed, the economic system is based on its satisfaction. 17, their political, legal, and religious systems are used to protect their economic system so they can better pursue their God who is insatiable. 18, they have no regard for human life and other life if it stands in the way of satisfying their greed, which is like a bottomless pit. 19, when the damage caused by the economic system becomes obvious to all, they cover it up by treating the symptoms while continuing the actions that cause the damage. 20, their medical system is a clear example of their symptomatic nature. They put poisons like processed sugar in foods, chemicals in soil and water, and smog in the air, not to mention noise pollution and mental pollution due to their perversions. When the inevitable illnesses come, they cure them by prescribing other poisons to treat the symptoms, while they continue to pour more poisons into the system. 21. This behavior is driven by their greed. It's the quickest way to make money. They use this money to try and fill the bottomless pit in them, which is slowly but surely consuming them. 22. Money is energy. Money that is used for the satisfaction of greed is energy wasted in a vicious and destructive cycle. This cycle threatens to destroy not only the worst players of greed, but Black people also. 23. Only the casual beings, Black people, can prevent this impending disaster. We will uproot the cause of the problem, not just treat the symptoms. The cause of all of the world's problems in the rulership of the non-Blacks. We in this group are part of the 144,000 Black people who will rule the earth. All the world's problems and illnesses will end when we take over rulership and remove the non-Blacks from the face of the earth and the face of the universe. Second stage, exercises 29 through 35. Exercise 29 through 35 are to be done once every three days between 6 p.m. and midnight. Start after the seven to 10 break at the end of recall 22. The format is the same as in the first stage, which I've repeated here. We'll reduce the writing of each observation to a summary of four to seven statements. In addition, we're going to pay special attention to colors, sounds, smells, and touches and memorize them. You'll write down half the colors and sounds and smells and touches in your summary and keep the other half in your memory. For example, if you notice six colors, write three of them in your summary and keep the other three in your mind for later. So after doing the conscious observation, write only a short summary. Before you write the summary, you're going to do the most important part first, which is this. 
Take about four to seven minutes to relive the observation you just completed. You can do this any time of the day. Put yourself back in a situation and visualize all the events and details of your observation. Let the images of the 15 to 30 minute period gently enter your mind. Imagine you're back at that time, doing the observation again and relive it in full details. Don't take more than four to seven minutes to complete the reliving. Later that night, write about four to seven statements that you think are the most important about your observation and leave out the rest of the details. Here are the extra things required for the exercises 29 through 35. Exam exercise 29. Notice and memorize at least six colors, six sounds, and two smells. Exercise 30, at least six colors, six sounds, and four smells. Exercise 31, at least six colors, six sounds, and six smells. Exercise 32, at least six colors, six sounds, six smells, and two touches. Exercise 33, at least six colors, six sounds, six smells, and four touches. Exercise 34, at least six colors, six sounds, six smells, and six touches. Exercise 35, at least eight colors, eight sounds, eight smells, and eight touches. Again, the colors, sounds, et cetera, don't have to be all different. For example, you may observe fluffy white clouds and a man in a white shirt. That's two colors, as long as you're able to remember them as distinct and separate. Recall of exercises 29 through 35. The recall of exercises 29 through 35 begins three days after exercise 35. Do one recall every three days. As usual, the recall can be done at any time of the day. Start with exercise 35, read your summary, then relive the observation in your mind. Write as much as you remember about that time period. Include the colors, sounds, etc., that you left out of the summary. Do the same with exercise 34 three days later and repeat every three days until you end with exercise 29, then take a seven to 10 day break.